Hey everyone, so Grabsoft here again. I am back and uh, this will be the second video. So the first tutorial we uh, went over the product we'll be building, uh, the website. And uh, now we're just going to jump into the more uh, technical stuff. So you might be thinking, well, what is Angular? Uh, it's a framework for building awesome apps for mobile, web and desktop. I'm not going to repeat what's already on the web so you can head over to angular.io and uh, you can read you know all the stuff or information that you want to get and what it is if you have time so to get started we need a code editor and uh, I will be using a VS code or Visual Studio code it's a free editor it's amazing it's very lightweight uh, but you can use whatever you're more comfortable with. It's just a personal preference. So to download uh, Visual Studio Code, we're just gonna get head over to uh, uh, Code uh, Visual. What is it? Uh, visual Studio. If I can type. Com. And uh, what you can do is uh, just uh, download the stable version. If you're on Mac, you're just gonna download the Mac version. Uh, you can see they give you the option. I have it downloaded already so I'm not going to re-download it but you can download it. It's pretty straightforward installation. So once you have done that uh, then the second thing we need is uh, Node.js and NPM Package Manager and you must be asking well what the heck is that? Uh, just keep in mind that Node.js is a JavaScript runtime and NPM or Node Package Manager is used to install software packages. You will see these in action as we progress. To see if you have Node.js installed, uh, just open a command terminal. So I have one open here. And we're just going to type uh, node-v. We're saying basically, you know, uh, give us, give me the version number. So uh, as you can see, I don't have it installed. I have a fresh window installed actually. So we will uh, go ahead and uh, install it together. So we're just going to say nodejs.com, let it load, well, that, okay that's not, that wasn't, oh sorry it's org, aha, hmm, some Chinese website, okay. So there you have it, it's the uh, nodejs website, uh, I'm just going to install the uh, recommended for most users. And as you can see, the MSI got downloaded, so we'll just hit it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So today the weather is very cold actually, and I'm seeing outside it's very slippery as well. Mm. So it's a good uh, it's a good day to watch uh, some tutorials on uh, Angular development, if you know what I mean. Okay, so it's gonna do whatever the heck it's doing. So next, yeah, of course I accept. Why wouldn't I accept, right? Da 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 da. I've never read these things. I usually just say install. Yes. Yes, Microsoft. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. So this thing is gonna. I can run faster than this. Trust me. All right. So it installed. Don't think so. We have to uh, restart our computer. So when you download um, uh, Node.js, I think it comes with the NPM NPM package manager as well. So let's see if we can, uh, I think I have to open a new terminal, but I'm gonna try here, yeah, exactly. So, wow, I'm gonna go and I'll just say command, open a terminal and I'll say node p there you go. So as you can see, I had the other terminal open before we did it, and uh, it was giving us, you know, not found. So, so make sure once you install, once you install um, Node.js, that you open a new terminal, and um, so I guess that's going to pick up the new changes, and then you can uh, get the version. Now I'm going to do npm v there you go I got NPM also 6.4.1 baby so now we got both and uh, now we can uh, go ahead and install Angular to install Angular uh, I'm just gonna maximize this because it looks badass so to install uh, Angular CLI 
Uh, basically, Angular CLI is a command line interface for uh, creating projects and performing a bunch of development tasks. And uh, you will see that uh, I'll be using uh, the Angular CLI a lot, so you'll just get a hang of it. What we're going to do is, uh, for now, we'll just say npm install, and we'll say dash g, dash g is for global, Angular, I can type, and uh, we'll say CLI. So uh, basically what we're telling NPM is that, hey, install Angular CLI as a global package. And the at symbol uh, basically is uh, used to define scope. And it's basically we're packaging, it's a way of uh, packaging related items together. So I'm just going to hit enter. And this is going to go matrix mode and uh, do some crazy fetching and whatever the hell that is. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Someone told me it takes like it's fast. Okay, so um, doo -doo 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 -doo, that is done. Added all the packages, and uh, you actually now uh, have the Angular installed. And uh, just to uh, test, you know, if it worked, so I'm just gonna let's maybe create. What do you guys think? Make a folder. We'll make a folder, and we will say uh, code. Oh, let's call it source. Source. Mm -hmm. That's good. And uh, hey, it already exists. How cool is that? Hmm. How did that happen? What's in here? Repos. What's in here? Nothing is here. That's pretty cool. So uh, let's make a let's make a new folder. We'll call it uh, site. Site. And uh, we're just gonna cd into site. Now, what I can do is I can say ng new, and what do you want to call it? I'll just say gs app, right? So saying Angular create a new app, and uh, we're just going to call it gs app. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it chicken or uh, yeah. So it's saying, uh, hey, would you like to add routing? So routing is a uh, when you, you remember how in our project we would click on the different links and it was uh, moving us around so uh, we can um, I guess we can say yes to that we can say mm -hmm, do that for us or we can add it later actually we'll do it manually so we'll just say no no I don't want it and then it's asking hey what kind of spreadsheet you want to use for your styling so you can use your arrow keys to move around I'm just gonna say CSS and once it's done, it's gonna go wild mode and it's gonna start installing. So yeah, this thing takes about like 10 days. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I got a computer with 10 processors and 100 gigs of RAM. That's right, that's right. I'm just kidding. So uh, it's gonna take uh, less time. Do, do, do. I like I like these things actually. You can record these and actually use them in uh, some kind of sci-fi movie. So as you can see, I don't have Git installed, and it says it just didn't recognize Git, but don't care. So and now if I go in, that's the name for app. That's the root folder. We're just gonna head go in and see. You got the Git ignore, the Angular JSON file where you um, I guess do some. I have no idea what you do here. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. But the, the one of the important files is the package.json. This is where you're going to configure different packages. We'll see how to do that. So now the source is actually in the source uh, folder and within that the app. So this is your, this is your bare bone uh, Angular uh, app. As you can see, you got the CSS file and blah, blah, blah. So let's... Um, what do, you, what do you say? We fire this up. So we can um, just do like this ng serve dash o, meaning say, hey, serve this, and o means open it. I hit enter. And hopefully, it's this thing is not going to explode on me. So it's going to go, the first time it's going to go compile. This takes, uh, depending on the size of your project, it can take, uh, can take a while. So there you have it. That's the uh, 
the bare bone project as I said and it's being served on 4200 and how do I know that well if you go back to the terminal somewhere I saw that it tells you actually that's where the your website is being served and uh, now so I'm gonna bring this over to a side you can leave this window open we're gonna fire up uh, Visual Studio Code. We're just going to make a simple change, and I'll show you. I'll show you it working. So I'll hit Open Folder. There you go. Repos site. GSM. Hit it. So here's the. Uh, I'm just going to close this. Here's the um, project open in Visual Studio Code, and uh, it's nicely structured. And as I said we'll be looking at this later on so for now just uh, so you know what I'll do I'll bring this here I'll bring this on the side I want to show you guys how things happen live that's pretty cool so I'll go to the app I'll go to the app.ts uh, and um, what do you say we change something here how about how about I change something here? How about I say awesome tutorial and hit save as you can see it's compiling it's gonna compile and look at that so that's how awesome it is you don't have to uh, refresh recompile it does it by itself and look how fast it was uh, 1.5 seconds so the first time it took uh, it took a while because you know it's just the first time it has to do it. So it was seven seconds here, well the first time. But then the subsequent compiles are pretty fast. So that's uh, that's how you get started. So we have started a project. We'll be working on it, refining it, adding more components, and as we go along. So subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.